Okay, the USB micro USB cable that come with uh, the side link. Insert the micro USB to set link and don't be wrong, you will damage it. Just insert it nicely, okay, and then connect the USB to your laptop or your PC. Here I'm using Dell PC 7020 model, Windows XP 64 bit. Just connect it nicely. Okay, now I'm going to run the software editor for. You can get the link, download link from my page. Please subscribe. Okay, run the software. Okay, select either port 1 or port 2 or whatever port, just try and error. Make sure you run the switch on your set link. Okay, first of all, read the data. So you can see here if the your PC is reading uh, the data, it means that your connection between your PC and the set link is very good. Wait until 100% completed. Don't forget to switch on your set link. Okay, now you can see here the default setting from the factory. Normally, I don't use all of this. So that's why we need how to edit. This is the transponder from KU Mesa 3. Malaysian satellite. Okay, if you select here, you can uh, edit the frequency of transponder. Okay, or polarity, and just click OK. You can edit here uh, for satellite name. Just select on satellite and rename it here. You can change the direction. LMB type you can change here LMB type so you can change LMB frequency and you can set for dissect here just yes, select it and then don't forget to write back the data to the uh, set link Okay, this is how we will delete satellite. Okay, you select any satellite you want to delete and select delete. I show one more time. Delete selected and then it was gone forever. Okay, again and delete and select again and delete again just simple like this by the way it is not directly delete from your set link you need to write the data okay write the data so you will upload the data to the box to the satellite finder okay delete 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 whatever you want just delete it let's say you are tired to delete all this thing so you make a new one you add your new satellite okay and here i i'm using com3 okay i will rename the satellite my satellite just key in whatever i want or you want
be type this one is default just click OK OK then you create a new satellite here OK then you will add new transponder for this satellite just add whatever you want make sure you understand and you know what are you doing so you will not be in trouble later okay I add the second transponder here okay done so I will add one more satellite Okay, I input all the information. Okay, let's say this one for LMB2, LMB1, and just click OK. Okay, then one more satellite uh, transponder, one transponder for the second satellite. Okay, and the m imp most important thing is you must write it to your. Uh, okay, here I want to delete the second one. Okay, then I want to write that. Write that. I don't read. Don't ever ever read. Okay, this software we upload the new data to your set link. Please wait until everything is complete. Otherwise, you may break this memory. Okay, done. Complete and successful. Okay, we will check. After we upload to the set link can see everything is already here both satellite is available here this is very quick to edit and don't um, waste your time to key in one by one Okay. Complete. Haha. <laughs> okay. Now it's the bonus for Malaysian user. Uh, you don't can download here, including all data. For Indonesian too, we can get here JCSAT, Name Media China Set 11. Okay, just open the data. Here we can see, including Asia Set 7, Epstar 7. My TV, uh, HSR 9 or 4, I don't know, big TV already here. Also, Tycom and Appstar 7. So, just upload this data to your box and then you are good to go. Okay, finish. That's all. Please subscribe and download from my link here. Thank you. Bye-bye.